What's up everyone, Ryan here, and I'm continuing my Stellar Blade playthrough series here today, picking up right where we left off. We are in the Great Desert. In the last episode, did a lot of free roaming, and it really explored a lot of the Great Desert map. Uh, so today, we're going to continue to explore the Great Desert, and then after we kind of take a look at this upper top part of the map and the lower left part of the map, We'll probably continue the main quest. Not sure if that'll be this episode or the next one. So we basically already explored this the right and top portion of the map. But we still got the upper left and the bottom left. So I think probably the best way to do it is to start down here and work our way up and around. So that's what we're going to do today. Thank you all for the support on this series. If you all get some enjoyment, drop a like. It really helps the channel. Subscribe for more and you can check the full playlist down in the description below if you're looking for more episodes in this series It could be that the full series is already live. So yeah, we're gonna fast travel to this waypoint it's Been a while since we've been down at this portion of the map And we still have side quests left in the wasteland, but I don't think we're close to the point of no return yet So I think we're free to explore and also do the main quest. But this game has been amazing. I highly recommend this video game. If you all if you all have a PS5, definitely play this game. Like th this is a phenomenal video game experience. So one thing I want to hope what I'm hoping to find today is there's a chest here in this in this pond, right? It's a chest like around this area here. Usually you find the codes near it because we found every other code has been very near to this location So it's got to be around this area right here, right? So hopefully we find that today as well so we can see what's in that chest Glad none of those were actually enemies <laughs> Might as well bust them up for some gold. What was that? Oh There were boxes up there, so I kind of want to go up there and see. Nothing. What? <laughs> Why were those what boxes was it like up there? The colony extinction? There was a dense forest. From above, it practically looked like a sea of trees. But the wars. Not a good time to read that. <laughs> Not a good time for to for a data entry to pop up, right? Is that a cat? So we're still rocking the outfit we earned a couple of episodes ago. This, honestly, this outfit, it's one of my favorites, Black Wave. This is just sick. So cool. And we have like nine skill points, right? So should we spend a couple? We've got tons of them. Nine skill points. Let's see. Increase the amount of burst energy recharge upon successful perfect dodge. I don't have too many perfect dodges though. Increase the amount of beta energy recharge from a successful perfect parry. I do think that's important because I do tend to get those quite a bit. It's the perfect parry. I mean, the perfect dodges I rarely ever get. I need to.
And then we have our tacky energy. We continue can continue to upgrade as well. That's an attack after a perfect parry. An attack after a perfect parry as well. After a perfect dodge. I'm not too concerned about those yet. Uh, now the burst energy is awesome. Maybe we should start specking into that. Increase the damage range of descending break. Yes. And pushing edge... Punishing edge downs hit enemies. That's actually pretty cool. Let's do that one. Gains higher melee attack power while in overdrive. Gains faster attack speed while in overdrive. Okay. Tempest deals additional damage to enemy shields. Increase the attack power. Let's save that for now and think about that one. Let's go ahead and rest since we're here. Might as well. Let's go explore. Look at this beautiful view. I'm getting a Natiba response from underneath the sand. They're wandering around looking for something to hunt. Be careful as you go. Okay, that's concerning. I gotta take a screenshot here. It's a great screenshot moment. Can they settle down? <laughs> I mean... Okay, so they just keep chasing you. I mean, that thing followed us for miles. I don't see anything popping up here, so I don't think we're missing anything. I bet we missed a lot in the wasteland. Can climb that? Probably not. There's probably something there. Okay, so we have a fast travel spot. Let's go ahead and grab that. And we have a crate up there. Our code could be anywhere here. Okay, that was awesome. That shotgun crushed that thing, didn't it? Like, it just blasted it. I knew you were there. There's another one out here, too. That's probably my favorite finishing animation or ambush animation. It's not an ambush. It's a, uh, oh, what's that called? Is it retribution? Is that what they call it? This game? No. It popped up right there. I really can't remember. 
I've done it so much in this game. You think we know it or that I would know it. You all know it. Okay. Get out of here. You all think there's anything on that? There might be. I want to make sure we check really this almost this entire map. Oh, this is okay. I bet there's something up here. I mean, there's a crate in there as well. This is cool. Whoops. What a save, Eve. Yes. Nectar Cranberry. So I actually thought possibly this is where the code was going to be, but there's still a whole other area down there. There's definitely going to be something important here. I mean, that was important. Definitely. Another secret. Wait, I put the last safe in the oasis. Oh, this is it. Is it the Great Desert Oasis? This is it, right? This is that crate. I wonder what's going to be in the crate, though. The big thing I want to see in the sequel is we new different weapon types, right? Because you have your Stellar Blade, and I know that's the name of the game, but imagine if you could, like, your Stellar Blade could, like, morph into, like, different... Like, maybe it's a Stellar Axe, or, you know, just something different than the Blade. And I think that's one thing that they could definitely add in the sequel. Let's go check for here. something right another waypoint and we can actually go ahead and work our way back to the oasis we can even fast travel there to open that crate Love the shotgun. It's so good. I'm really liking this range build. 
You know, I could see them putting like a random can just right in the middle of this desert, you know, like in just the most, ex most like interesting spots or secret spots you could never imagine it would be. Come on. Let's try explosive shell. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty sick. We explored. Yeah, we yeah we got that camp. We did explore that. We're at the o the oasis. We might as well come back here. How did we miss this? Okay, that thing was a beast, wasn't it? How did we miss this crate? When I say we, I mean me, right? You all didn't miss it. Some of you are, were probably yelling at me to get it. Did we already get this? I guess we did. The crate's over here. Something up here. you turn around on here road okay. but I guess you have to grab it from the other side gold this might just be like a screenshot place and yeah, not a bad screenshot place what if we get up there Take a screenshot right there. I bet it's possible. You all see a way up? Like I look, I have apparently have not looked very thoroughly, as thorough as I thought I have. Still missed out on a lot. <laughs> like there's something that's just crates, though, right? Can we not get up there? Oh, we can. Okay, this might be the screenshot of the of the playthrough. Okay, that is sick. Yeah, that's awesome. What a shot. Okay, we've opened that one. Just making sure there's nothing else up here. Or there was actually nothing up here. It's hard to say nothing else. <laughs> the view was up there, though. That's why this game needs a photo mode, though. So surprising it doesn't have one yet. But I know a lot of games add that later. Here we go. What are what's gonna be in here? Wait. 
Oh, d wait, did that say des design pattern cybernetic bondage? Okay, when we get a new outfit, you all know what we got to do. Got to craft it. It sounds cool. Actually got a lot from that. Okay, that looks sick. This is the Exotic Synths Collection outfit designed by Tetrastar CNT's lead designer, Galaxy Allen. It's said that quantum nerves are inserted into the lining, strings, and knots so that it moves freely through a link with the body. So th is this the new parkour outfit? Right, let's go take a look at it. Yeah, that might be our new our new main outfit here. This is awesome. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, that one's great. All right, where are we going? That's why it's so important to explore in this game, right? They're going to reward you with stuff. And we've been rewarded like every step of the way. Already, we were already here, right? Yeah, that's where we started. Okay. Might as well rest. We also need to find newspapers, right? Or those other notes to complete the... There's that bar that keeps popping up when we find certain things. For Lily? I think we were at 80-some percent or something for it. go full on range there. It's just so fun to free roam in this game.
I knew it was there. I was just hoping that that would have worked. And that's the fast travel we already got, right? Yep. Oh, I should have took a screenshot up there, right? Y'all think there's anything up here? I'm gonna go on a limb and say yes. There's there's stuff everywhere in this game, right? Maybe not though. It'd just be like a screenshot area. And a pretty good one. Yeah, I don't think we can get up there. I don't want to die. <laughs> We've already died of fall damage too much in this playthrough, right? Let's use it. Okay, those little, those acid attacks are insane. They just hit you in rapid succession. Rage is the way to go with those. Actually, a pretty good hit to hit that and not hit anything else. I wonder if I can get an ambush here.
What? How did that kill us? Didn't we have like full health? Am I wrong on that? Okay, let's buy some ammo. I clearly mis miscalculated how much health we had. I, I thought I had plenty. <laughs> wow, was I wrong though, right? Not gonna mess with one of those again right there. Fight. Kind of fun fighting them both at the same time there. beta core or something. Can we not move that? Huh. was a great sequence of perfect pairs. I thought you could move these. Can you only move the ones that are yellow? Hmm. There's got to be a way, right? See it right there. I mean, I, there's no way we can make that jump. I already tried it. Yeah. Maybe there's something else? Okay. So from the other side. Okay, so we go all the way around. Okay, so I see what we have to do. <laughs> I 
Not that. That's definitely not what I was trying to do. Oh, look at me. I know what to do. <laughs> it was something good. Yes. Thirty two out of forty nine. We're getting close, really. This is probably just here for that. I don't even land on it. Or maybe it's here to throw you off. Like, hey, climb this, climb this. Try to get this thing to get you to figure it out, right? They were just probably trying to throw me off. Thought there would be something there. You know a game is good and that I'm enjoying a game when I haven't done a main quest. I guess this would be like two or three episodes, right? I'm just having so much fun exploring the world. Like that's when you know that I'm loving it. that jump and try yes <laughs> and I do love how everything you find you get experience for haven't we already walked no we haven't walked along this one have we We found one of the drones on the All around us other one. is just sand and heat. It looks like civilization just turned into dust. Not all of it. That's why scavengers like me exist. Looking for screws in the desert. Well, it's a very common thing on Earth. Okay. Now, I do know there was definitely something back other way and we still need to find out how to get up there right because didn't we find a passcode to something over here there's the main mission thing right there I think yes I guess I'm kind of getting off off track, right? I need to go back.
Oh, that Natiba had a great dodge to dodge my explosive rounds. Like, honestly, die dodged at the most perfect time. I'm just hoping I didn't miss anything like right in the middle of the desert. Take that. Just crushing them. That, that that is a devastating ranged attack. Yeah, this ranged build is amazing. So we have the Eagle Eye Exospine and are just crushing with it. Interesting. I thought that, that that enemy there would have been protecting something there. Yeah, that's when I'm at my best with the combat, when I'm doing a mix of melee and switching to the shotgun or slug ranges, any of them. That's when I seem to do my best. Now for these, keep it simple. Keep it simple. What's that tunnel like thing? It's a high speed transport tunnel that goes south. You can use it to travel without any enemy interference. Oh, I was wondering what those were. walking away after crushing them. I love it. Well, I, I was trying to uh, get out of there. Let's use it. Wait, we have our tacky energy. was awesome. Perfect timing to get more ammo and also rest. Get some more health back. I guess I need to start paying attention like I buy I just buy these without even thinking about it 
So there can go pretty quickly, but I mean what else there is to, what else is there to buy with gold, right? Just such a good video game. It's so much fun to play. And the combat's so good. Everything flows together nice. Like every everything feels crisp and I'm just so impressed that this was their first ever console game. Like that's that's just hard to imagine. I'm trying to get the best screen screenshot view here. Settle down. That was insane. basically just freezes them from even doing anything. That's what I should have done. Wait, what? What? What just happened? <laughs> okay, now. All right. Uh, okay. <laughs> Where in the world did we just go? That mean we can open that now? What just happened? No. Oh. How do we get back? Where in the world are we?
Well, there it is, 88% at the top right. Okay, there has to be a way to open that, right? It doesn't even give us a chance for a code or anything. Wonder if this is a place we're just not supposed to be in yet. On any of the crates that it wouldn't let us open right right away, we always had to fight something, and then it would open, right? But this one, I don't even see anything to fight. I mean, this was an unexpected journey. <laughs> Thing there? No. Whoa! <laughs> it took us all. Okay, that is sick, though. It felt like we were moving in the opposite direction, didn't it? So this put us right out. We need to buy another pump. We've used a lot of them. I don't even know how many we have. We don't have one. Let's buy one. Bugging me, though, that we could not open that chest and... Now, can I travel back without fast traveling? Probably not. We'd probably have to go to the camp. Because we went from here all the way to here. Y'all stay away. searched all the way up here though have we no so this is a place we need to search it's just been so much fun to explore there's something Y'all think they would just put a random, a random thing like right out here in the corner of the map, like the top corner where it's, there's nothing, like the one of the best outfits in the game. I could see them doing something like that. Like, I mean, because it really rewards you for exploration. Every time we've explored, we've found some cool things. Every single time.
never have I been like, oh, that was, that was not worth it. Actually, maybe I said that one time, like, oh, that was disappointing. <laughs> and then I think I found an outfit, like, shortly later. something we can I don't see anything like showing up through it so I'm gonna probably go out on a limb and say that there's nothing in it Last time we fought that thing, it drilled us. I kind of want to fight it again. Oh no. That was awesome. That, that was a couple beta skills into a burst skill for the Elim. That's another one it looks like you can't go into. Now, I don't think we fought an area boss yet in this portion of the map. But anywhere in the Great Desert, I feel like we've explored a lot. Those, those do look like you can get in there I don't think you actually can if there was stuff in there it would show up through the scan and that's back to where we already explored down in there. Is this will take us? Yep, we already had that fight. Are you oh, trying we to can't go, go it? back there? We'll get buried in the sand if you keep being so stubborn. Let, let's not do that, Eve. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how, how about how about we don't do that? So never mind about them putting something random like in a random spot in the desert, right? We found a crate for I feel like one of these tubes or like a, a crate combo for one that said it was in the tubes. Where we did that challenge, right? Yep.
there's where we're supposed to go for the mission. might be getting out no it looks like you can still go this way i guess where i was just a little bit high up there i was too close to the edge of the map oh we can't go there Got it. Oh, there's something over here. Never mind. <laughs> I thought I saw something over there. Maybe we can we have to go around. Oh, there is. You can do it, Eve. All for a polymer material. <laughs> okay, so that one is disappointing. They baited me into that one, didn't they? That's the camp we're probably supposed to go to. Go ahead and camp there. We don't have to actually do the mission. I can see Abyss Lavoir. What kind of facility is Abyss Lavoir? There are some weapons weapons. Does it have to do with the Natibas? I can't promise it doesn't. Wait. Is she guarding it again? Do we have to fight her? Or is it could be somebody different? We still can't upgrade anything. I guess we could fast travel back. I, that's definitely a boss fight, right? Right up in here? It's gotta be. Got to buy ammo. Ah, we're fine. <laughs> Remember, I said that. Here we go. See, I mean, they have it's just so easy to miss stuff. Oh. smooth
things are tough. They're really they're they're some of the toughest enemies that you face. At least they are for me. I feel like I have to focus up like a hundred percent when those things are there. It does look like you can actually go over this way. There's a crate up there. We'll fight this guy. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Another smooth combat. I've had some good sequences. I was a bit rusty when I not in a couple episodes ago when I had not played this game for a while, but I think we're finally starting to get the feel of it again. Eve is starting to dominate like she always does. Been there. Yeah, we've been there. We fought that thing there. We were here. Look like for a second you could get up there. Not in the mood to fight one of those. <laughs> Let's go around. The reason I want to come back here, because before we hopped into that tube, I thought I saw like a data entry over here. I could be wrong. There's actually a lot of enemies here. Okay. Wow, a lot. Yep, there's the human. You all think the chances are that we can get that without them caring? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go on a limb and say no. Like, those things are tough. Those are the things that really crush you. I feel like every time I face them, we might die. What's this? Uh, is that a code? Not a cold I've ever seen. Oh, there's something up there. That 
it's this great desert it's it's tough it's a devastating place if you spend a little time here you're gonna almost die This may be a longer episode, and I'm just going to keep exploring. I'm enjoying it. Oh, no. Glass health. Is this glasses or earrings? Oh, and that's an exospawn. Okay. Oh, we have a lot of them, don't we? Could rest, I guess, since we just took all those out. Let's make sure there's nothing else to be here. What? You're kidding me? Let's not fool with it. Run away, Eve. Run away. <laughs> Yes. All right, now hopefully that Nativa goes back. Doesn't mess, mess with us again. That was eventful, wasn't it? We still have a whole nother place to explore where those columns are there. Gonna sp keep spending all of our money. Wait, we're getting gold as we play, like it's fine, right? Gotta be something back here too. Yep. Map is massive.
Let's go, Eve. Not even worth wasting range on this, right? Oh, hold that thought. Let's definitely do it. <laughs> are everywhere. Back this way, buddy. Get up there? No, you can't even get on that, okay. This is one of those games, once you start playing it, it's hard to stop. So those things you don't even need to fight, those things that come out of the ground. Oh, we have to take him out. So we do have to take him out. But this chest... How is that? Uh, 
Um, what? Simple Western Walnut Code? How do you... What? How am I supposed to get this one? It's, it's much longer than, uh... You know, it shows. It has to mean those locations, right? Useless satellite, remote controller, trash, area 49, goddess smiles, broken statue. Hmm. What about it's a six input? What about every third? Would not be, would not be it. I mean, it could be anything, right? Three witches for children of my loud voice, three pieces of Conrad's. Three. Three is definitely important, right? We see three quite a bit. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I could pretend I know. <laughs> Uh, what if we just put the in code in the last six letters? Is it that simple? Wait, clearly I miss <laughs> discounted that. Not that. Yeah, I don't know. I really don't. Are they on the statues? Anybody got any ideas? What about if we just try the first combo? It's not going to be that simple, but might as well try. How many letters are in this hint? Eighteen. So I thought it would be the three code, but it's not. Only code we haven't tried straight up is the middle one. There has to be like you only use certain like a certain sequence of it, right? How would you know that sequence? I would say every third, we could try it here. Here. That's not right, is it? Is that every, yeah, that would be one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, this is a big achievement. I would like to retire uh, from this. This is the end of the Stellar Blade playthrough series. Hope you all enjoyed it. <laughs> I've solved two two codes, and usually I'm the worst at puzzles imaginable in video games. So what a big achievement! Thank you all for being a part of it. This will be the final episode. But we had a good run. We, we, we can't, it's only downhill from here, right? It's only downhill from here. I thought that was going to be a boss fight, right? Oh, we're not even close to where I'm pointing, where I'm talking about. That's all the way up here. 
We still have that area with the columns we haven't explored. That was a cool puzzle, though. I'm glad I didn't leave and give up. I was about to. So let's go rest before we go there. drove you all crazy when I said oh every three no it can't be that you all were like yes it is Ryan <laughs> you are like yes it is Ryan it's that simple oh no if I would have left that would have drove you all crazy oh you all would be like right did Ryan really just say <laughs> yeah. yeah he did yes he did Oh, honest, I love our build, the range build for now. I don't really even want to change it. Okay, so we still need to go this way. We're not going to have another puzzle here, are we? <laughs> I mean... Let's just send them all at me, why not? Okay. That, that went well, right? <laughs> Good thing we had just done this. Is that a ship? It is. Go oh, there next. By the end of this video, we would probably have explored everywhere here in the Great Desert, which is pretty awesome. I mean, there's enemies everywhere here. <laughs> Just follow me all the way here. here. Get out of here. Get 
it's that follow up follow up attack that they do that throws me off. Oh, we we're getting so many skill points. There's another place to uh, go to. that area got the ship we got over here let's go over here first haven't we been here no I guess not there's the ship what I keep referring to that might be the boss fight. Great. Oh, one of these. B3 out of 49. Only 13 left to unlock that outfit. And we actually need to go back to Zion because remember, you get actually perks for completing those. Like it's not just, they're not just there for looks, right? we can actually upgrade our I, I probably will upgrade the skin because I'd like a little more range on it personally be something else here but I don't see anything do you all they gonna be something in there This game is so good. Wait, is it not?
Okay, so it's not here. There? Fancy on that one wasn't trying to. Wait, is there something right or anything? There is, but we should be, oh, that's where we're supposed to go, right? Yep. Are you kidding me? No. Good thing Eve never gets tired. Just... Beast. That was close. Way too- way closer than it needed to be. <laughs> oh, new outfit. Or I guess it could be sunglasses, right? Design pattern. Daily Sailor. All right, we got to go see what this is. Where's the nearest camp? I think the nearest camp is pretty far off, right? It was that one we just came from, right? Yeah, here. Right close to the ship, so we need to go back there anyways. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, I'd say. We'll check this scrapyard? I guess this used to be in a, a, it's just a dried up desert, right? Maybe this used to be a junkyard or something? There's a ship right there, so it makes you think it might be like a dried up ocean. we do for research, right? Which is actually part of Eve's mission, right? To collect all the memories. Okay, before we go into the ship, let's definitely rest, craft the new outfit, rock the new outfit, and we're getting close to the end of the video. I'll try not to make this one longer than two hours. I know that is a long time. Try to do a nice little sneak attack on me. Did you all see that? No, no, no. It also, it's like a sailor of the ship. That's actually awesome. 
A casual sailor outfit from the daily collection for those who are friendly, comfortable, and confident. Definitely rocking that one. This is honestly this one right here that we have might be my favorite. Wait, do we have something else? Oh, our drone. Yep. So let's upgrade the scan. Can we? Not yet. I like it. I like it a lot. It'll be too hot in the desert, though, to wear that, right? <laughs> Eva's gonna burn up out here. <laughs> I like it, though. They did a great job, honestly, with all the outfit. Like, you can tell they spent so much time on each outfit. It, it's one of those games to where, for me, I find an outfit, I go craft that outfit, right? Oh, uh, that's a boss fight if I've ever seen one. <laughs> um, okay. Everybody remain calm. You must have to have a side quest unlocked for this fight. Okay. We're getting ahead of ourselves, right? Did we just did we just discover everything? That must be a later on. That might be a mission, you know. It could be a side mission or something. Did we just discover the whole wasteland? I mean, we were up here. We we've, we've been everywhere. We've been everywhere. I don't know if we got everything right, but we did a lot. It looks like the only fishing spot is the oasis here. So we could go fish a little bit to close out this video. Why not? I should go to the main fishing spot, right? That way we can buy bait and stuff. All right, let's put on our fishing gear. That Natiba's right there to my to our left. Kind of terrifying. Hopefully it stays away. We're just trying to fish. Can we buy bait? Bad, I don't remember how to fish. <laughs> oh, there we go. This left trigger. Okay, we have a lot of strange bait, whatever that does. We really need the special bait. Let's just try the strange bait, see what happens.
Gonna have to get a lot better at this to catch the that legendary fish that we almost caught the last time. Ooh, a beta fish. Let's go. That's favorite bait is a small shrimp, so you wonder if the strange bait can catch anything. That was a nice way to close out the video, right? Some relaxing fishing here in the oasis after exploring the desert. I think we did, honestly, I think we explored it fully. There might be more that opens up later on once we do the main mission, right? There could be some side quests that unlock. But what a fantastic video game. Fish. Yes, legendary. I don't know if it's legendary, but something good. Butterfly fish, three star. Yes, they inhabit coral reefs and are popular as ornamental fish. 42 fishing score, that's huge. Let's actually see, so we've caught almost all the small ones. We have two left. We'll have to go after medium and large. We're gonna be, need better bait for that though, right? I'm just gonna fish here for the next next 10 minutes here to close out this video yes again nuclear waste what does that that doesn't count as a fish we are using a strange bait how in the world did we hook that one are the cans moving in the water youtube what is what is going on in this in this great desert I think it's another can. It was an easy one. <laughs> Canned helm. Okay, we gotta stop using this. We gotta stop using this strange bait. Let's go with a fish slice. We haven't seen him catch a thing next to us. Have you all noticed that? It's funny though, because you're when you're catching it, it looks like you're catching a fish, right? Every time, even when you catch a can. Or maybe the fish escapes and you're left with the can. Maybe they're smart fish. <laughs> Another, yeah. So we need to. We need to get some better weight or better bait. Ah, uh, Angel. The weather at the oasis. As carefree as ever, I see. So, what brings? Do we? Should we ask him why he never catches a fish and he just kind of stands there? <laughs> should, should we mention that or just leave that be? Leave that be for now. Ooh, that might be actually what we save up for, fishing data. Improves fishing skills, contains immense amount of fishing data. Okay. Save up for that. Farewell, Maybe. Angel. I have no idea when we'll see each other. We'll see each other again someday. Like how he just sits there and just <laughs> Issued all the time, not catching anything. That's me in real life, right? 
fishing for a whole day. Oh, what'd you catch? Oh, yeah, let's not worry about it. Caught a lot. Why didn't you send me any pictures? I just, that's my wife. Oh, I want to see pictures of what you caught. Oh, yeah, they, they were too big. I just couldn't, I couldn't work the camera and get a good shot at the same time. <laughs> yeah, they were really biting today. Yes. Come on, Eve. Yes. Another butterfly fish. The good news is, even though we've already caught it, it we get more fishing score, right? So one more catch, and we can get that fishing data. For what I don't know what it does, but I as well get it. Probably gives us information on the different bait that certain fish like, right? A relaxing end of this episode. We died a lot. Yeah, we did. <laughs> Eve went through a lot this episode. Got two new outfits. Got a lot of experience. I think we have like nine skill points to spend or something like that. Getting better. Odd oh, skipper. Have we caught one of those yet? It'll show us. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I guess we're going to try to catch another one. I was hoping to go back and buy that fish data. But it's already out there. Might as well use it. Or if we caught a mud skipper or not. It didn't pop up as a new fish, so likely we already caught that one. In the future, I'm probably going to have a full episode where all we do is fish because there's going to come a point in this game where we've done everything else, right? And all that's left is to find all the fish. I rarely ever 100% games. There's not very many games I've 100%ed. I can't remember the last game. But this will probably be a game I 100%. I mean, should we give him some tips over there? That has to make him feel bad that he's been fishing here and doesn't catch a thing. Poor guy. There's a fish. Well, maybe a fish. It is not a fish. Canned fish, does that count? Uh, Angel, the weather at the oasis is as carefree as thing. ever I see. So, what brings you? You like how he says the same thing every time? Improves fishing skills. Like, what does that even mean? Immense amount of fishing data. Where, Where's the data? So long, Clyde. Mm. All right. It wasn't so bad having someone. Vi Wait, what did we just get? Wait, we got one we haven't used? Secret? We got a secret one? 
Okay. Wait. We've got all the codes besides one in Edo 7. That's actually awesome. We've almost opened all the crates in the game. Still have a lot of memory sticks and stuff to get. But what is this fishing data? Woke up. <laughs> oh, it shows your personal best. That's actually pretty cool. Maybe it's in our inventory? Like, do we have to use? Oh, here we go. Improves fishing skills. Contains immense amounts of fishing data. You you don't say. Where 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 is the data? That's my question. <laughs> where what am I missing? YouTube does it show you like fishing spots on another map or something? Is that what I'm missing? <laughs> immense amount of data. In what world? I don't see immense amount of data. <laughs> There's nothing in here. <laughs> okay. Clearly. My definition of immense amount of data is a little bit different. Do we have fishing skills now or something? Oh. Okay. I don't know, YouTube. I really don't. I don't. You like upgrade your fishing here? I doubt it. Immense amount of fishing data. Oh, I bet. <laughs> Depending on what your definition is of that, I guess. Okay, do we got our bit? Let's let's go ahead and upgrade probably all of our beta energy, right? Oh, you could do quadruplet. Generates additional arcs to deal a final blow and stuns enemies. Yes. Can we do that for this? Oh, you can. Double cross wave. Always. Ooh, increase the attack power of shield breaker. I do need to use shield breaker more. I feel like this hit could be devastating. Well, the first strike of triplet also stuns the hit enemy. Additionally increases the attack power. What does this one do? The first energy wave of shock wave stuns initially increase the attack power. I, I I feel like I need to use shock wave more with the range, so let's do that. What a fun episode. Great desert has been explored. In the next episode, we continue the main story. So we will head into the next main story mission and move on from there. And maybe after that, do some... Uh, exploring of the wasteland right thank you all so much for watching this video to the end and for all the support here on the channel i know this was a long one but we we free roam basically the whole map in these last few episodes it's been a blast i absolutely love this video game it is fantastic and this game could be my game of the year it's gonna be it's gonna be up there you know final fantasy rebirth is it's gonna be tough to beat right i think that's gonna be at the top but this game is gonna be right there and I know there's still a lot of other games to come out this year, but I'm excited, excited to continue this story and play more of this video game. If you got some enjoyment, drop a like. It really helps the channel. Subscribe for more and check the full playlist in the description or just check the channel page if you're looking for other episodes. I will see you in the next one. As always, have a fantastic day, everybody.